Welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a really cool software that will allow you to find those low competition keywords with high traffic volume. This is something that if you're in the if you're blogging or doing SEO, this is what everyone's always after, right? We want the low competition so we can actually have a, a realistic chance to rank our content, but we also want it to have traffic proven that if you do put time and effort into creating that post that it will also have traffic to come along with it. So wanted to show you this real quick. Let's jump in guys. So I'm over here on g2.com and they have like thousands of softwares on here, right? But we're going to go look at specifically just in the SEO software niche right here. Okay. And then we're going to come through and look at all these different pieces of software, right? We can keep scrolling down, but what I'm going to do is I want to go and sort this by the high highest rated. Let's look at the highest rated, the best software out of all those hundreds of softwares in the SEO category. And we have SE ranking and then we have rank IQ, Surfer, SEMrush, all these popular tools. You probably all know of these softwares. And surprisingly, there's actually keyword tools up here that even rank higher than Ahrefs. One of the things that probably why, I mean, Ahrefs for the tens of thousands of people that actually use this tool and the fact that they charge a minimum of $100 a month for their lowest plan, it's definitely a pricey plan a pricey product and some would consider it like the Cadillac of keyword research and SEO, right? If you're serious SEO, you use Ahrefs. They're so big that they don't even really even have an affiliate program. That just says something, right? It's pretty cool stuff, but we're not going to be talking about Ahrefs. Most people, especially if you're starting out, you can't afford a $1,200 a year tool. So we're going to come back up here. I'm going to show you a lot more of an affordable tool. We're going to be looking at rank IQ. Look at, they have a 99. They're currently ranked number two, and I've seen them at ranked number one. It's really, really close between the two of them, probably a review or two, you know, close call, but you can come and check out rank IQ 345 star reviews. I mean, look at, they have, they don't have one person out of all these votes that gave it a one star, a two star, even a three star. This is not a mediocre tool. This is an amazing tool, very, very fast and quick. And I've been a member for probably almost a year now. I'm going to show that uh, this tool to you and I'm going to explain to you why I love this tool and why this tool is very, very good. It's like a perfect tool for that beginner blogger or beginner a niche website building type way to make money, right? We're also going to go to a really popular site, just kind of, you know, pre showing you this tool, why this tool is, is awesome and why I'm showing this to you. We're on Captera, another site like G2. I'm going to come over here in the SEO area and I'm going to go by, we're going to sort this by highest rated over here. And we're going to scroll down here. We have surfer scale nut phrase, and then rank IQ. They have a 4.9 out of 99 ratings over here. And we can go and check out their tool as well, just by clicking over here and checking out all the different stuff that people are saying about the tool as well. All right. So now this is rank IQ's actual site. If you want to go and check it out, see what this is all about, go watch this video. It'll explain everything, how to use the tool and why it's beneficial to you. You can click the link below. The first link below will take you to this page. You can check it all out. If you want to write more blog posts that rank on Google's first page. Okay. And then here are all their, oh, so I showed you G2 and Captera. They have all kinds, best usability, best results, lead leader most implementable. And this is exactly what I'm saying right now without even seeing that badge. Uh, this is definitely a tool that you can actually use and you won't be confused or intimidated by too many features. Not even, you know, you can buy a tool like Ahrefs and not even know where to begin to even find good keywords, right? And so forth. So really, really cool stuff. They have some really cool features that you can actually hook up your Google analytics and stuff. And then it'll actually go out there and just tell you all the overview type things that you need to know about your website um, right away. And then here is a, a rank IQ server, Ahrefs, SEMrush kind of comparison over here, right? So the Ahrefs and SEMrush, the big hitters, those are very expensive. They don't really even come with SEO content briefs unless you like upgrade plans and, and things like that. Right over here, this is even a better price than Surfer and you get more reports. So really, really cool stuff and their ratings. And this is just, this is straight up. You can go check these stats. It's, it's real. So they're not just marking their stuff up. I've seen that a lot lately. Mark your stuff up in the comparison videos, but they're going against the biggest heavy hitters on the market and they are definitely holding their own. But guess what? No one knows about them. No one knows about Rank IQ. So that's why 
what I'm going to show you. We're going to go log into my account. Here's my account. I'm going to sign in. Here we go. Boom. And so forth. We have all kinds of different reports down here. You can save the reports and so forth. But the biggest thing I want to show you right now is, well, one, before I actually show you how to do that, I want to actually go and we're going to check the rankings. Once you hook up your domain, I have all these different domains. You just hook up your account, right? We can come over here and I can say run analysis. And it's going to run this analysis. It's very, very fast. And it's going to, you know, if you go to Google search console or you go to your Google analytics, I mean, that those, those come with a learning curve, a very big learning curve to try to actually understand the information and what rank IQ Brandon Gailey has done with his tool is made it easier for you to just see what is bringing in the most traffic to you, to your website, right? So you can actually see over here, affiliate programs that pay daily right here, ranked average rank right here the last rank impressions clicks and click through rate and you can go and search through and see what traffic over the last 28 days is bringing in you know the most traffic to your site then you can come over here and look at organic traffic right here you can look at that traffic by device traffic by country united states of america boom india philippines united kingdom and so forth right i've shared this channel with i've shared this website realisticpay.com with uh, several of my YouTube channels. And so, and I have, I attract, you know, an, an audience all over the world. And so that would explain why I do have all these different um, places. I do uh, think that a lot of people from YouTube go and check out this site. And that is another reason why I have um, a, a, a large variation of traffic from different countries and different parts of the world. And then pages by the most traffic right here. What pages? Just your power hitting pages right there, most traffic in the last 90 days. And then it just gives you, it just keeps going, but it breaks it up into a small little report that you can actually look at that makes sense. You can also download any of the stats right there. Really cool stuff. Okay. So then what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the keyword library. Okay. And this is one of my favorite features and it's worth the money in itself. Even if you don't use the content optimizer and you want to use surfer SEO, or you want to use some of these other ones, phrase, I know a lot of you have phrase, that's okay. You can use those tools. They are going to be more, more robust. I am going to say that the whole point of rank IQ, and I'll show you what it looks like inside of the reports when you're optimizing your content. It's very, it's just very simplistic. Not a whole lot of things that you can do. It doesn't even tell you how many times you had that keyword in. It just makes sure that you add it at least one time. So if you want to get really granular and more technical, then you're definitely going to be fine with using surfer or phrase or any other tools. But here is where my favorite tool in itself, we all struggle with niche selection, right? Niche selection. We struggle. And so, and then we also struggle with finding those keywords. The keywords that we, that have volume and that have a higher chance of ranking if we write the content and that's where their keyword tool comes in. We can go in and if you don't have a niche yet, you can come through here and, and look at all these hundreds of niches in here. They've already went out and did the research for you. These are niches broken down for you already. So if we wanted to go into aquarium care and fish, I can select that and then look. It's going to give us all these keywords right here that we can go out and write. And it's going to even tell us if we have a time to rank fast average. So I can actually come up here and sort this right here and go ultra fast. We can actually, if we're starting our site out, we can actually go in here and just focus on all these ultra fast right here. Look, tiger, shovel, nose, catfish, tank, made 33 gallon long aquarium dimensions. How long do goldfish crackers last? I mean, you can directly answer that question, right? So these keywords, where do, where does a rank IQ get its keywords from, right? So when I come back over here, the whole point of this video was to show you low competition keywords with high track of it, traffic volume. Well, they use Ahrefs to find, you know, millions of keywords across hundreds of different niches. And then they have their own proprietary algorithm that they go in and do extra research on those keywords because a lot of times when you're using those big keywords it may not it may say something is medium or high competition when in fact you have Quora ranking ranking at the top and Pinterest ranking at the top and non-optimized content or titles in the top 10 so there's other factors that this tool rank IQ goes in and actually looks at so it actually gives you more of a manual look or a manual perspective before they actually put it into the tool. And then they actually have a team of people that go in and manually check all the keywords before they approve them into this library. Now they have a library of like one or 2 million keywords in here. 
but these are like hand picked and they've put their own uh, look at the keywords to actually make them and, and actually put them in the rank IQ keyword library, right? So that kind of explains where these keywords come from. And you can bet that basically you have a lot better chance of ranking if you write keywords in rank IQ. So they just for the keywords that they're going to give you, it's worth a membership in itself. Okay. So now if we find something that we want to go, how to protect fish eggs in aquarium, that might be a good one. Let's just take that one, how to protect fish eggs in aquarium. You can, you can click this, you can add this, go to my keyword library. You can add this selected to your keyword library at any time you can go over to your keyword library and it's going to show all your keywords in there. But then the next step, if you're confident, you've done your keyword research, now you want to write on this content, you can go and push run report and all. it's going to go and do an analysis. It's going to take, it's going to go out there and look at the top 30 results, rank number one through rank 30. It's going to gather all the keywords of their, their content, all the lengths of the content. It's going to come up with a full average for you and tell you what topics you need to create. What are the best titles? It, it's going to basically go out there and do a bunch of research and save you hours and hours of time that you would, if you were doing it manually, it would, it would literally take like a probably half the day or more just to research one keyword. So it's pretty fast. I'll pause the video. We'll come back when this is done. It usually takes between one and four minutes for it to go out and gather all that information. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what the optimizer looks like. Okay, we're back. And this is one of the coolest parts about the tool is that it's going to tell you, here's your keyword. You are going to need, it, it grades it from an A to an F, right? And it even does like, you know, A minus A plus stuff like that. We're going to need pretty, and a lot of times you do need good content. You're going to need an A minus for this report for this content. And then you, this is how many words that rank IQ is suggesting that you have in order to rank in the top 10 the sources analyzed that analyze 30 sources of content. We can download this report just by clicking this button right here. And then when we open this up in Excel or Google uh, spreadsheets, Google sheets, this is what it's going to look like. Now you can use this content and you can go, if you're going to outsource your content and hire someone to write the content for you, you can tell them all this information. I need, well, I know I need 1800 words, so I might go and order a 2000 word blog post right here. Okay. And then from, from relevance and a score lower, you can tell them start with these keywords and I, these are the most important and work your way down. Right? So they have all the, the phrases and keywords that they need to make sure that they talk about in the content and then top keywords to use right over here. So these are the highest scoring topics. If they've used all those, they can move in to these as well. And then highest ranked titles for inspiration. Don't copy exactly the title, but you can use a variation of these kind of put together your own title and then the right over here, 900, something with only 900 words. So they must have a lot of authority to be able to only have a B rating and only and less than a thousand words, but they're ranking number one. So they do probably have a lot of authority, but right here, you're definitely going to want to be at that 2000 word level in the top three. So that gives you even more insights in order to make that good decision when you're building your content, right? So we're coming through here and you can also see it all right here without downloading it. You can see it all right on, on the screen and so forth. So then what do you do next? Well, you go to the co uh, content optimizer tool. This is where the optimizer tool looks like. And if we, we can paste our content in here or we can start writing in here. Obviously we're starting off with a F we have zero words and so forth. Let me go and show you what a finished report looks like right over here, how to wash a car without a hose. I'm going to go and click the optimize. And I've pasted my content in here already. I pasted it. We're at a D plus right here. We have 1400 words. So we know we're up on word count, but we don't, we're not very optimized when it comes to the words that we've included. So how does that work? Well, right over here, you'll see on the right hand side, how to wash a car without a hose. We can go to show unused, see all the ones in green. Those are on the page, right? But the ones that we have not used, I'm going to go ahead and select that on. And then you would just say, where can I add microfiber cloth? Where can I add dirty car, whole car, straight line, good idea, hose pipe, pump sprayer, power washers. You start adding this stuff in here and you can see that the content just for demo purposes, it goes away. You can see it automatically goes away and then you can see our score increased. See how our, our score is going up pump sprayer goes away, hose pipe. Once I put those in there, now our score has gone up just by adding these in and optimizing our content, right? And then this automatically goes away. So the ease of use of this tool, there is nothing else like it on the market period as far as ease of use. 
and this is going to get the job done. You're going to have optimized content right here. You can make even one of all these H2s if you wanted to write a little paragraph. Boom. The major point of the of the video is if we go back to the keyword library, right? You can search by coming over here and say, if I'm looking for affiliate, maybe affiliate marketing. And I just type in affiliate and look at all these different keywords, best affiliate programs, 2022, um, automotive affiliate programs. Like I would have never thought of that. And you can see how much traffic this is coming from keywords planner, how much traffic you could gain for the year, I believe annually. And then how fast about how fast you can rank. And then the competition level, this basically means like kind of look at this as the way that they have this set up in the tool is that this is kind of based on like your domain authority, basically like the co competition of what you are going against. And there's a guide. Once you sign up, you actually look at the guide. You might want to stay from away from like the 25s and up. If you have a new site and you have no authority at all, you might want to go for lower, lower competition scores. So this tool is for me after using it for like a year, I recommend it first and primarily for its keyword research capability and the niche selection that it provides. So these low competition, high traffic keywords is you're definitely going to get those in rank IQ. And then obviously the optimization and the reports is a major factor of the tool as well. They have all kinds of different payment plans. You can get as low as $29 a month for eight reports. It goes up to $49 a month for the 16 reports. And then they have a hundred dollar plan and they have a, I believe a $200 plan if you want to max it out and get like a hundred reports a month or something like that. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go out and check out rank IQ. I will leave a link below and I'll see you in the next video.